Hi, welcome to Raven Beak Nature Works. I'm Jamie McDonald, and today's January the 9th, and got another batch of yew staves here ready to start off the new year. Uh, there's about a dozen or so, all old growth Pacific yew from the west coast of Canada, and this wood has been down probably at least five years now on the racks outside, and it's also been in my shop. So this is sort of what I would consider dry, ready to go. So we'll take a minute, walk through, and show you what we got in this one. Up first, we got stave number one. 78 inches long. So everything in this batch is pretty long. Um, I like to keep the options open. We can always shorten them down, um, but leaving them long to start. So 78 inch, number one's nice and straight. A little bit of character, a little knot here. A couple little bumps, but a pretty clean stave. Take a look at the heartwood sapwood. Lots of nice colors, nice tight grain. Pretty straight, a tiny hint of deflex, but just in the one limb, pretty straight. So that's stave number one, 78 inch, and that's 225. And again, all prices, Canadian dollars. So number two, long one, 82. Just a gentlest little sweep off to the left. So possibly a little bend for alignment. Look at the color, growth rings. Just Hint of deflex through, real tight grain. A little fly down the back, pretty clean stave. A couple little knots off to the side. I think those can be avoided. So, lovely little piece. That's stave number two, 82 inches, and that's 200. And stave number three, 83 inch. So this guy's got a couple knots off the left, but I still think lots of room on the right here. Fly up through those. As always, use got little bumps and knobbles and pin knots. Not off to the left, but I think room on the right. And this one has got really, really tight, tight sapwood and beautiful color, nice tight grain. So I would say maybe, how are we doing? Alignment really straight, alignment really straight. Um, so working around the knots, still lots of wood, but you know, maybe nothing too crazy heavy, but I think easily in the 50, 55, 60 range, not a problem. So stave six, oh, sorry, stave three, 83 inches, and that's 200. And stave four, 82 inch. So just a little sweep to the right. So probably a little heat bend for alignment, whether it's steam or dry heat, nice and straight. Nice clean. So a couple little little pin knotty groups down here. So this one cut a little bit of a wedge. It's hard to show, but this side here is a little bit undercut. So squaring it up, bring it off, keeping her a little bit more to the left. But still a nice piece. Stave number four, 82 inch, that's 175. And stave number five, 83 inch. Again, everything's pretty long here. So alignment, pretty decent. Maybe a little heat bend for tip alignment. Look at the front to back profile. Again, always working around our knots, snaking up the middle of those two. And other than that, really clean, nice flat crown. A little bit thicker sapwood, so probably gonna to wanna to thin it out a little bit. But lots of options. So that's number five, 83 inch, that's 175. And stave number six, a little one. So alignment, it's gonna need a little heat bend. This is a little sliver of a piece, but that's all it takes for a nice lightweight English longbow or a little flat bow. A lovely color, real tight, tight grain in it. But yeah, little heat bend, as a lot of them do. So a little knot there, but still lots of room. So, and then there was one little knot right close to the handle here. So, nice little fun project there. That's stave number six, that's 80 inches long, and that's 150 Canadian. And number seven, 77 inch. Nice and straight, alignment looks good. Side profile looks pretty straight. 
lovely color, real white sapwood, dark heartwood. So this end, it's got a little sunken center here. So either staying up on the side or shorten it down just a little bit. Little knot off to the left, but I think there's room on the right to squeeze by that. And that end looks pretty clear from here. So that's stave number seven, 77 inch, that's 150. And number eight, 82 inch. So smaller diameter tree, so a little bit higher crown to it. Um, but staying on the top of the ridge here, it's got a really nice clean run. So staying away as it drops off the sides, really staying up top and centered. But uh, yeah, nice piece of Pacific U, lovely grain, lovely color. Might end up with a little S through it, but as long as your tips and your handles line up, your, your alignment is stable. So that's number eight, 82 inch, that's 150. And stave number nine, bigger piece, real flat crown. Alignment, pretty decent, maybe a possibly a bend, possibly not, as you work it down. And front to back looks pretty straight. Lovely color. It's always hard to know if it shows up the way it does here, but real nice color and a real flat crown. So nice and wide, a little wiggle at the one end. But uh, yeah, lots of, lots of options on that one. So that is stave number nine, 77 inch, and that's 150. And stave number 10, 82 inch. So, Again, gentle S through it. From here, I would say alignment looks pretty decent, but possibly a little heat bend for alignment. And front to back, a little reflex down on the one end. Take a look at the colors, Ooh, green density. Nice flat crown, pretty clean piece of wood, nothing major, a little knot there, a little disappear pretty quick. And yeah, so real lovely piece, possibly a little heat bending. So that's number 10, 82 inch, and that's 150. And number 11, again, 82 inch. So a little bit of a bend required for sure. A little sweep to it. Front to back looks real straight. And it's got that real dark chocolatey heartwood. That, uh, incredibly tight grain here. Lovely, lovely colors. So this end's got a little knot on here. So depending on what you're up to, either shortening it down a little bit, knocking six inches off to clean that end up, or trying to snake through the middle if you're looking full length. And look down and a little, hard to see, a little pin knot cluster down at that end too. So that's number 11, 82 inch, that's 125. And number 12, 76 inch, real straight. Alignment, a little bit of a deflex through it. So whether you want to do a recurve tip or leave it or heat a bit of it out, up to you. But a nice, pretty flat crown. And I think you're gonna get a pretty clean bow out of that. All things considered, these are all right on the edge and they'll disappear right away. So that is number 12, 76 inch, 125 Canadian. And the last one for, this batch today uh, is number 13, uh, 76 inch, gentle sweep to the right. So a little bit of a heat bend through the handle. It's got pretty decent growth rings to it, but not as tight as some. So whether it was growing, had a lot more sunshine or what, but it's lovely piece of you, heartwood sap, but it doesn't quite have the as dense as some of the other stuff here. And I think got banged up a little bit coming out of the bush. Um, but don't see any drying checks to it. Yeah, so a little pe little bend required, um, but uh, and it's got a, just a hint of reflex to it. So that is number 13, and that's 125 Canadian. So we're just going to start there for the year. Nice batch of wood. Um, send it off here, but let me know what you're interested in, and we'll get some shipping quotes and get them out to you. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.